Hi there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Bayonetta 2 Blind. Now after I finished the last part, I discovered this thing here that says menu and I was like, oh what's in here? Here's the character settings. So as you can see, um, there's multiple characters so it's not even hiding that. Like Bayonetta 1, it kind of just had the costumes. This one it actually just straight up says, oh yeah, there's more playable characters. Um, and as for the costume, uh, we only have the one, Bayonetta Default, a new Bayonetta in a new hairstyle. Her outfit is an Umbrim battle uniform laced together with her hair through witchcraft. So we don't have the Nintendo costume starting off, which for a lot of people is very good. Which for me makes me a little sad because I'm a massive Nintendo fanboy. And uh, that's okay. So. With that said, let's get started on a Remembrance of Time. Now, as of this video recording, the uh, the first episode just went up, so uh, we'll, we'll see what people... So far, people are excited, so that's good, you know? I'm excited. I'm, I'm looking forward to playing this again, though. I was waited all week to play some more, so it's like, you know, let's get started on this. Or not, So we have to wait for it to load. I wonder if doing nothing makes it easier. Feel like it might. So, our fates and our paths cross once again. Bingo. Fleur de la Reine, made of Nerine, also known as Diamond Lilies, I think. The name Nerine is derived from the Nereids, or Sea Nymphs. Quite appropriate for this city. Luca? Will you quit calling me that? I'm not a pet, or a cat! Oh wait, you... said Luca. Not used to that. How are you, Bayonetta? No matter where I am, you always know how to make an entrance. Nice glasses. Oh, these? <laughs> Rodan has a soft spot for Shinshu Sake from Japan. It was an easy trade to get him to make these for me. And don't get it twisted, Bayonetta. I'm not stalking you. This time, at least. Look, I know you've got nothing but secrets. Hell, that goes for any woman, right? But if there's one thing I've learned in my line of work, it's when I found you, I found the story. What on earth are you on about this time? Don't act dumb with me. You know the story better than anyone. The Umbra Witches and the Lumen Sages, two clans that wielded incredible power just 500 years ago. The clans of the Overseer, watching over us all with the eyes of the world. The power to govern light and darkness. But now I know that there really was an Overseer. And this Overseer is the one who created the eyes of the world for humanity. The same ones that the clans held on to so hard. The Overseer was the true creator. The true god of the human realm. The god of chaos. The god of chaos? From what my research has told me, that god used to live right here in Noatun. That's why this place has gateways to each realm of the Trinity of Realities. La Porta del Paradiso, the doorway to heaven, and La Porta dell'Inferno, the real gates of hell. <gasps> Listen, I heard about John. What the... <laughs> it's 
Some squirrels get all the nuts. You're a lucky little fella, huh? Never took you for an animal lover, Bayonetta. What can I say? I took a liking to one of the locals. So he's your little tour guide, huh? Look, I know this isn't the time to chat. Let me see what I can find out to help you. Just don't stick your nose where it doesn't belong, Cheshire. Don't you worry about my nose. I can smell trouble when I see it. You just take care of yourself. It's so strange. Like, number one, I love Luke as a character. He's just... He's a combination of Yosuke and Otakon, which should make for, like, the biggest bro character ever. But it's just strange that, like, because of Bayonetta as a character, it's not, like, the ultimate bro character. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Am I just not going crazy? Also, wow, this is really quick into the level. Let's do this thing. The Musfilheim. I feel like I can do this. Also, I have my other weapon set in case I really need to, but we'll see. They wouldn't just give me one to not try out my new weapons. I mean, pshaw. So what's this one going to be? It's, uh, use enemy arms. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, cool. We just get a choice. Give me this one. What the heck? What? Why? What? Oh, because it's... What? Right, it uses the triangle button for them. Right, I was I was confused for a sec. Oh, I missed. Oh god, I'm not doing the best. So close. That was that was pretty decent. Okay. Okay. So yeah, these are much easier. Like I'm doing terrible, but they're pretty easy. I think we have enough for a full moon pearl. I could be wrong. I don't actually remember. Uh, nope, we had one of two. Okay. Just gotta get reacquainted with the controls a bit. It has been a week, you know. Um, I was playing a Warriors game before this, as my, as my upload history shows. So it's like, you know, kind of different control schemes. Similar-ish gameplay, at least combo-wise. Alright, so, that was pretty easy. And let's just destroy this place, because we can. Nice. Oh, <laughs> this dude's like, what happened to my store? <laughs> oh, I ruined his life for him. God, this game is beautiful, actually. Like, it's not the most... Not Like, the environment, I'd argue, is kind of bland. But there's kind of a beauty in the blandness, you know? Like, the color is nice, though. That's one thing. There is color, which I love. Oh, this is a new guy. He's creepy. It's, uh, Enrapture. Everyone's off to the Enrapture. He is... Yeah, he's different. Oh, he's, he's sort of like magic stuff, which claps and... Oh, that was nothing. God. It's so good. Um, it's crazy though, because there's actually another one that like it played in the first cutscene. Oh, hello. Um, and it's like I, because I had to look up look up music for the intro, right? So it's like when when I did it, it was like I was like, which should I choose? Should I choose Tomorrow's Mine or the other one which it played, which is apparently the the one for on Infinite Climax mode. They use that one. So, all right, I'm gonna say gold feel like that was a gold. Am I correct? Uh, whoa, okay, no. I have very, very low standards. The sign describes a sacred mountain and the ruins around it. The strangely shaped building at the foot of the mountain seems to be called the Cathedral of Cascades. All right. And we got a thingy. <laughs> that was entirely on purpose. There is no way that was not given that name entirely 100% on purpose. Rose of Nature! So good. 
<laughs> no matter the prosperity that modern technology brings or the semblance of order civilization affords us, we can never truly accord nature, blah. 500 years ago, disaster renewed fear. Citizens of Noatan, giant tsunami said to have swallowed the town. One theory postulates an underwater eruption. Whatever it is, troops will step to the bottom of the ocean. You'd think it would be looking at gentle waves that brush sharp, but apparently blah 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 blah. Okay. So there was a giant flood here. Probably to show the gods' powers or something. There might, I feel like, might- Oh, I accidentally used the, uh, this power. But that's fine. I was trying to center the camera, but that was the wrong button. Um, okay. So, oh, there's- Okay, so if that's the mandatory way, then this must be the secret down here. Also, can we go into here? Is that death? That is very clearly death. Then this must be the secret then, right? Unless this is the main way and it's just gonna be, oh, how do we get over there? Oh, it's so tough to determine which way is the main way and which way is the secret way. We'll see. If this opens up a path to there, then we'll go back. What's wrong? What's this? Okay, oh god. I didn't press the Oh, I did press the button in time. Action. Whoa, okay, this is... I'm not even sure what's happening. Oh my god! Okay, no, I'm going back because I want to get my secret. No, let me go back. I missed the secret. Okay, I screwed this up. Okay, I kind of want... Okay, I kind of want to just die. I know this is awesome, but I missed the secret back there. Perfect, okay, that didn't kill me like it, like it should have not okay so oh it's so tough to determine which ways you know which way you gotta go which ways the secrets i guess i should have felt like this is more the secret because this looks like progression though and that's the problem and i know i totally screwed up probably in totally awesome sequence i mean the music was going and everything but oh, we got another witch heart very nice give me that bonus health mmm i love it Reminds me of, well, you know, just doing good at a game. And nothing over here, no, no Moosefelheim, no uh, secrets, okay. Well, let's get out of here. Hopefully we don't have to do too much underwater stuff. I've noticed, I mean, yeah, the city's, a, you know, a water city, but there's been a lot of stuff going on with it. Okay, let's try this again. So this is why it's called the Remembrance of Time. I get it now. This is actually a cool thing. Instead of using the statues, you got this, you know? That's- this is pretty cool. Like, this is actually really awesome. That's cool, I like that. that trick, little one? I've never seen a witch, or a sage, for that matter, pull off something like that. <laughs> Come on, love! Y you think I'm just going to tell you my secrets when I don't even know whose side you're on? All right. It seems I can control the remembrance of time. That's a big deal here. It seems? I mean, no. I got nothing else to say, love. The remembrance of time. What's that you're looking at? Right, let's go. I've got a party, and I've no intention of being late. Alright. Hmm. This might change my theory of who this character is, but we'll have to see. Oh, there's a stupid bird. Let's get him. Oh, I caught him. It just didn't... Normally, I'm so used to doing the huge pop-up thing, but that was actually not a pop-up. Okay, I'll take it. That works. We got another book, though. Take a look. It's in a book. Reading Rainbow. Path of the Chosen. So let's see what it says about the Path of the Chosen, whatever that may be. 
While checking for leads at the town library, I spied an old wall print between dusty volumes. It was an anime wall print featuring characters from something called Bleach. You know, when we had wall, wall, wall scrolls? That was fun. I never did. Um, the ancient print depicts a sacred mountain Fimblebenter and a long corridor emerging from the summit. Path leads through the Cathedral Cascades, terminating the law in a tall tower within the city. If accurate, this print confirms that, while the tower is a shadow of its former glory, at one point there was a path from the town leading directly to the mountain's peak. That is incredible. Nothing too groundbreaking about that. Really? Okay. But the next mural I found was harder to swallow, to say the least. It showed people walking differently up the walls, directly up the walls of the aforementioned spire. I thought the sea air might have gone to my head, but no matter how I looked at it, the truth was plain to see. There was a perpendicular parade going up the tower. Were these the chosen ones I had heard so much about? What were they doing They're walking the path? Very interesting. Hmm. It's almost like we've already walked up walls and that's not that big of a thing right now. But I mean, for this guy it is, you know, it's, it's... But if normal people are using that, that's interesting. Or are they normal people? This is an arena. Yeah. Oh, this dude looks cool. He has a giant hammer. Thankfully, I had the bat within there. Man, that power is like so mandatory. Okay, let's see this. Oh, that's so good. Oh, these, these guys have like boss HP bars. That's cool. Oh my god, that was... There's a ride button! That's so cool! Oh, I love it. Oh my god. Get him. Oh, we're using a Cat O' Nine Tails. It's great. That's a pure platinum. No, only a platinum. Our time wasn't the best, I see. Fancy time. Oh, yo, CD, gimme. Or, no, not CD. It's an LP. I apologize. Uh, was it down there? Yeah, it was. Let's go get that. Thank goodness it showed us that it appeared. What do we got? We got, um, the William Tell Overture. Mmm, my favorite. I think these are all just, like, um, domain-free, you know, songs and stuff. It's good. No! Excuse me. We have a s- oh, camera. Okay. I was gonna say we have a store to go to, but then I also found this. Gimme... just stuff. That's good. You know. I haven't needed those yet, which is good, but we'll have to see. So far, I feel the normal difficulty is easier than the normal difficulty from Bayonetta 1, which makes sense, you know, because Bayonetta 1 was kind of made for the super hardcore audience, but this is made more accessible, you know. Then again, there is a touch screen mode to play as. Even if I am jollier than the average demon. But no need to pity me. I was bored anyways. Be right back. This one's gonna be fun. Been looking for a workout like this for a while. Ta-ta. They say life's a bitch. Try being dead for a couple millennia. Makes a demon cranky as shit. <laughs> Don't think this demon will be complaining anymore. Kafka. Kafka. Like, Franz Kafka? Really? I mean, I don't necessarily agree with all he says, but I wouldn't call him a demon. You know? That's... We got a bow and arrow? Yo, that's actually super cool. We also got the treasure for it. I think, I think I've seen that one. It gives you like a Robin Hood head and that's actually really cool. Um, that's the, that. Oh man, I want to, I want to get the Star Fox outfit though. But I know I shouldn't, I shouldn't waste my money on stuff when I need techniques first, you know. 
So let's, uh, let's see your heal slide. I don't use the heal slide much. The afterburner kick I do, though. You have to, let's see here, press A immediately after a jump. Press, yeah, this is one that I use. I like this, afterburner kick. Plus, I get, you know, get to say, like, red hot kick and stuff, and that's always fun. But we got a new weapon. Let's give it a shot. It looks like another ranged weapon, which is good. And I may be wrong, but I believe you cannot put a bow and arrow on your feet. I mean, if she can, utterly amazing. But I'm going to hazard a guess that that's not something you can put on your feet. Swords, though. Swords can go on your feet, of course. I mean, that's just... Oh, wait, no. I want to go... I want to go for this one. No. Bow and arrow and... Yeah, it cannot be equipped to your legs, of course. Wait, there's an I button? Oh, it gives you information, right. This one's hands and feet. A pair of swords that absorb the demon god Rakshasa and were cleansed with Soma. Energy from Rakshasa's chakra flows from the swords into the user, making them easy to handle. Cool. What about the uh, Kafka? What does that say? A bow and arrow made of a man who was cursed, who was once cursed, who once cursed another and who turned in... Okay, so it is literally like Kafka's metamorphosis. That's really cool. Okay, and then our other move set will do. Well, no, I didn't mean to go through that. No, our other move set, our A move set, will literally just be default, you know. And then our B will be different stuff. So that's good to have. We don't have any of those. Uh, we have a bunch of stuff here that we're not really gonna use. Which is recipes? Right, right. We needed that. Um, wait, can you make moon things? No, it's just showing them there. Um, so wait, can we listen to the records here? Is that an option? No. Sadly not. Okay. Well, let's give Kafka a shot. Let's see. Oh, dude, that is a straight-up Monster Hunter weapon. Whoa. Whoa. That's insane. So let's go. That is crazy. So you can't do consecutive like charge stuff. You have to. Oh, you can melee with it though. Somehow. Cool. Okay. Um, we'll give it a shot then, guys. I think... No, we, we still have time. I was gonna say next time, but no, we're only 20 minutes in. Ah, uh, there we go. Enemies? Come on. This looks like an arena. Yeah, there we go. Oh, God, I didn't even see that. Oh, God, I'm not doing well. I like having a, a one melee weapon and one ranged weapon. It's a good combo, you know? Hmm. I'm not sure if I love Kafka, but I can definitely see it. It can have its uses, you know? Oh, I forgot about the, the back hit. Okay, these enemies are doing way more damage now, which is really nice. Boom. Okay. Also, I had the hammer, which I didn't use. I'll give it a shot after. Yeah. Damage wasn't the best. Could have done better. Need to pay more attention. Here we go. This will give me a chance to use it. Oh, hello. You're, I remember you. Aw, oh, there we go. I love it when... when Previous bosses become regular. Oh, what what does what does the climax version of Kafka do? Just bugs everywhere. That's so good. Oh jeez. I keep saying God because I just 
I, I'm not necessarily forgetting how good the combat is, but I'm constantly being reminded how much fun it is to just play this game, you know? Actually, I had a friend who was, who was asking me, like, you know, I, 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 the, the combat in Bayonetta can't be that good. And I'm like, you haven't played it. It's very obvious. It is something not of this world. Also, he's not dead yet. Oh, here we go. Climax. What is that? It's a frog. I like how they just keep showing new demons. That's that's like that's awesome. A little anticlimactic. It just ate it. Gonna be honest, that wasn't that wasn't the super megaton destruction punchiness that I kind of love. Also, these things are gonna get quite annoying. Ah, but we got a Musfelheim. Let's hop in and do this thing. Let's. I wonder if it like detects that I have the beaten save data of Bayonetta 1 so it's like it's like okay you know you just you just oh my god it's even worse here you just go do your thing with the Moosefulheims you don't have to beat the game you know that'd be that'd be awesome but I I doubt it single combo challenge oh my god easy with the uh gonna be crazy oh geez that still counts that's good oh was that was that it like that was that was a combo I felt it drop a couple times but maybe that was just fine maybe getting hit was part of it yeah it's that's how good I am I'm so good I can get hit during a combo, and it still count. Video games. So there's there's hit, hit. So there's okay versus hit hit. Oh, interesting. So if you delay this one is in particular, you can get a whole bunch of different ones. Um, yeah. Let's just. I think we could probably finish this level in time. At least I believe so. There has to be secrets over. There has to be stuff over there. No? Down there? Like, come on. Oh, maybe not. Huh. Interesting. Also, I did not mean to do that, but I'll take it. There we go. That looks like the end of the level, so we'll head there. And there we go. Boom. I was right. Let's see how we did. Oh, we missed a whole bunch of stuff, but we still got a silver. That performance might make the back page of the classified. And we did. We did good. That's it. Unlock. You received a verse card. Go to... T oh, cool. So we have to go do that. Oh, we keep getting more. Well, progressing through storm mode, you're... Okay. Well, now you play take climax. The more verse cards you have, the more stages you can play. I hope there's people online to play this with. <laughs> I want to take a look at some of them, but I will have to see. Paradiso, the Gates of Paradise. That's another one I'm pretty sure was a level in Bayonetta One, but okay, sure. Just reusing level titles. That's interesting. Um, all right. We'll see you guys next time on Bayonetta Two. Ciao.